Hey guys, welcome to the 127th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Path Gradient Brush with shapes other than ellipses. So for this tutorial, you're going to need to have a panel, and then when the user clicks on the panel, just have a new graphics path be created, and just pretty much everything we had in the last tutorial. So just copy down what I have here. Alright, so in a previous tutorial, we only looked at creating gradients with circles. So we have like a center point and then the gradient just slowly moves out towards the edges and changes colors. Well, what we're going to do in this tutorial is do other shapes such as rectangles, squares, and like triangles and stuff. So um, we're just going to have to add those shapes to our graphics path. So we're going to do gp.addRectangle. We're going to be adding a rectangle first. So um, we're just going to go ahead right here and pass through a rectangle and as you can see we cannot pass through the points like the location and the size of it so what we're just going to have to do right here is create a new rectangle so we're just going to go up here type a rectangle and I'll just call it R and set it equal to a new rectangle and right here we're just going to pass through the size of it and the location so here we just have X, Y and the width and the height so just like before for the x, I'm going to put 20, the y will be 20, the width will be 50, and the height will be 50, just like I normally do. So now with this rectangle we created, we can just pass it through this uh, add rectangle method. And it will just add that rectangle to the graphics path. So now, um, the gradient brush will be in this rectangle right here. It'll just start in the center of the rectangle and work its way out and change to black. Alright, so now that we have our path gradient brush all set up, we can actually draw a rectangle using this brush. So we're just going to do G to access our graphics, we we'll say fill rectangle. The brush that we're going to be using is obviously our path gradient brush, so it's PGB. And our rectangle, we can just use this R up here that we already created to just make it way easier. Alright, so now we need to debug here and click, we should see actually a square because we made the width and the height the same and in the center it should be white and it should slowly turn into black as it moves out. Yep, perfect. And obviously if you wanted to make this be like a rectangle or something, you could just change this to like 100 and now it would be a rectangle. Yep, perfect. Alright, so uh, now that we have our rectangle, I'm going to show you how to do a polygon. So we're just going to do gp.addPolygon, and it just calls for points, so we're going to have to create a new point array. We don't really need this rectangle anymore. So we're going to say point, I'll just call it points, and this will basically be the, uh, the points or the locations of the vertices of our polygon. So if we just want to have a triangle, then we'll just put three points right in here, and it'll draw a triangle out of those points. So we're just going to create uh, some points inside of this array. Do a new point at 2020. Then another point at 2070. And a final point at 7020. So I'll be creating basically just the right triangle. Alright, so now we can just pass our points array or a point array through this add polygon method to add a polygon to our graphics path. Alright, and now that our path gradient brush is all set up, we can just fill a uh, or paint a uh, polygon using our brush. So we're just going to fill polygon with our brush, which would be the path gradient brush, so this PGB. And the points, we can just use this points away array that we already created so that we don't have to um, rewrite it out. So we'll just do points. And now when we click, we should just see a right triangle, and it should the middle of it should be white, and as we move out, it should be black. Yep. And if we wanted to make this like a, re or a rectangle, we could just add another point, make it, if we did 70, 70, I'll actually show you. What it does is it goes through these in the order, so this is going to look all screwed up. It's going to look like a bow tie. Yeah, and that's because it starts at 2020, then it goes to 2070, which would be down here, then it goes to 7020, which is over here, and then it goes to 7070 down here. So 
if we want it to be a square, we'll have to have it go in the order that we want it to. So we're going to have to move this 70-70 to um, the third one so that it goes here, here, then there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this, just delete that, and paste it right there. So now we should get a square when we debug. Yep. All right. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, so see you guys.